Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Pardon the crazy face. Uh, today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a review on a couple new products that I found at the drugstore and I'm assuming these are new and this is from the Revlon line. I have the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation and Concealer which I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today and just kind of demoing it. You know, trying it on. Um, I found these at the drugstore recently and honestly there's only like three shades of concealer and like maybe seven or eight shades of foundation and on the display it literally only had one of each color which I found to be just I know that it's a new release probably well I know it's a new release but it was just like not even two or three of each color like that's so rude and it didn't have that many it did not have that many Shade range. Shade range is a big, big, big thing here. But anyway, um, I've already done my eyes. I'm doing a tutorial on this eye look right here. Um, so that actually should have been posted before. So I'll leave it linked either down below or up here. I don't know. I always forget to leave them up here, but I always point up here, right? It's so strange. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin. Um, I took out all the fallout that I had from this eye look. So I'm going to prep my skin. And the first thing I'm going to moisturize with is my e.l.f. Daily Hydrating Moisturizer. I actually really like this. And I don't know what we're going to... We're going to name him Bert because it's so ugly. And Bert to me is not a very nice sounding name. It just sounds like a burp. So it doesn't sound good either. Um, it's actually quite painful right now. But it's due to hormones because I am due for my birth control and um, <laughs> I'm not happy that I forgot. But I'm, I'm not late. I just I'm due for it because this happens. I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. Um, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't know which primer to use. I'm going to use my CoverGirl skin primer. This one is the pore minimizing one. We really have pores, but I like their primers. They eye. This one actually smells really, really nice, and it's so smooth on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. This one's in the shade 320. I'm going to hope <laughs> that she is my shade. Um, I just saw like 340 was like too peachy looking. Um, you could see it through the bottle. So the foundation was $10.99 at um, CVS. So I'm going to assume if you can find this at Walmart or anywhere else or even online that you can get it for cheaper. Like $9.99, $8.99. It's, it's always more expensive at the drugstore and at fucking Ulta unless she has a sale, but that's rare. So this one is $10.99 and the concealer is $9.99. So it's not that much off in price. Um, and you get 0.75 fluid ounces with this product, which is not a full traditional one ounce. I actually, to be honest, love the packaging. It has a very similar, of course, packaging to the It Cosmetic CC Cream, which is very, very pigmented. Um, so it doesn't have the full ounce, which honestly, I don't see why they wouldn't just make the bottle a slightly bit bigger, like that much bigger and add the 0.25 and make it a full ounce. But whatever, um, these, 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 these drugstore brands is starting to get real stingy and expensive. This is the shade 320 and it says it is a natural finish anti-pollution foundation. Um, and it's a water base with dimethicone foundation so it says medium buildable coverage no harsh ingredients anti-pollution antioxidant anti-blue light oil free don't know what the fuck that means but okay and take out one full pump that's okay there we go that's one full pump it actually feels very creamy oh yes let's put it over Burt it looks like it covered up Burt um this feels very rich which is a plus. Especially for $10.99, that better cover up my credit score, okay? My Sigma um, F80 Kabuki brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press it. Ow, Bert. <laughs> press it onto the skin, like so. And I don't do that whole half sponge, half, half brush nonsense because no. I just don't. That's not how I apply my foundation, so I use both the sponge and a brush, but I don't do just the sponge. That's not how I apply my foundation. 
And to be honest, it absorbs so much product when you apply it with just the, the sponge that it's foolish. First things first, the shade match, it's pretty good. It's pretty spot on. Um, it's actually pretty medium. I would say this is a high medium coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just blend like I normally do. Cause I wanna see, ooh. I just love the way putting it on with a brush and then pressing it with a sponge makes a lot of foundations look. And this one's no exception. I'm not assuming that this is like 24 hour wear, but it does feel like a beautiful natural finish. So if you're into that without having to set, then definitely try this out. Only thing of course that I hate, well, we'll talk about that later, but all right. So now I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Candid antioxidant concealer and I got the shade 15 which was the lightest shade um, it looked the most yellow everything else looked peachy tone and there was only three of these and I was just annoyed so I took this one which it might be too light for me but we can make it work um, and again this is in the shade 15 and it's a concealer with caffeine antioxidants anti-pollution anti-blue light without sulfates phthalates phthalates no harsh fragrances oil-free medium coverage okay i mean so far i like the foundation so we'll see wow okay um don't say anything all right so this is the uh doe foot applicator the doe foot applicator, which honestly looks kind of derpy, like the derpy applicator. I don't know, this applicator is a, whatever, we're just gonna apply it on the eyes. All right, I'm just gonna put it right here. Wow, that is yellow. Okay. I'm not sure the purpose of this doe foot applicator because it feels like, like for instance, I can't get the product from this side of the I mean, maybe if I do this to highlight, but like I can't get into the divot. Like I don't see the purpose for this kind of doe foot applicator. I'm just gonna um, do the chin first to see how it blends. Oh man, that's yellow. <laughs> that is a yellow ass concealer. This is like the banana concealer. If you, if this, that's how yellow shade 15 is. Oh my, just blend this out. Now, not every concealer is gonna blend nicely with the sponge. Um, I learned that firsthand with the Makeup Revolution. And she's a beautiful finish. It's actually a really beautiful finish concealer, but I look really yellow right now and I am not comfortable with how yellow I look. <laughs> It does nothing for my dark circles. It actually accentuates them and it almost makes them look green. I don't know. Let's zoom in. I don't know how. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to put a little bit. Because this is the only area I put it in because that's my sallow area. That's the area where the dark circle is. I mean, I think the. The formulation of it feels really nice and smooth. I don't think this is a medium medium. I don't know, maybe it could be because of the shade, but. Like, I don't know if it's translating on the monitor, but it looks really, really yellow. Really yellow, like more yellow than I like, because I'm not this fucking color yellow. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I'll fix it somehow. So, oh God, I hope I can fix it. I'm gonna set this with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, and um, I don't know if I should do it with a brush. I'll just do it with the sponge, old school. Maybe the Laura Mercier will, I don't know, make it look better. I've set my face with my Revlon Nearly Naked um, powder, which, they don't make anymore, I don't think. I'm gonna do my brows, finish off the rest of the face and the eye look, and then I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts because by then I'll probably have on the foundation for a little over an hour because I'm gonna be filming the rest of this tutorial. So, yeah. 
Okay, my love, so this is the completed look. I've had the foundation on for about an hour and a half. I finished the rest of this tutorial and that'll be up first, which you've probably already seen. If not, it will be linked down below or in the annotation here. Um, Overall, I will say I like the foundation. It's sitting all right on the skin. The concealer though, it is insanely yellow and it's more of a color corrector type shade. As far as to what it's gonna correct, it's literally, I don't know because I feel like what it did was it makes my under eye, and we can zoom in, it makes my under eye feel like it looks more bruised, almost blue under there and I don't like the way that that looks hold on let's dust away I don't know I feel like I have some particles um I did set it with my Laurie Laria I did set it with my Laura Mercier translucent powder which the finish on it is beautiful and overall my skin I like the way that it looks so the concealer I don't like I don't mind the finish of it but it's not a medium coverage like it is like Maybe because it was so yellow that you can see my under circles turn almost blue. That was one thing I did not like. Um, I don't feel it under the eyes, but I do feel the foundation strangely enough. The foundation feels like it's very, very pigmented. You get a good high medium coverage with this foundation. Um, I love the pump. I think the shade range can be on. It, it. I just don't get it. I don't know if they released this just to see how well it sold for the first run, but I would think that you would want to be inclusive all around one time. On the display, I think they only had like eight. I'll go see if I can get a picture of it or if I find one online. They only had like eight shades and like it was just so, I couldn't figure it out. I don't use Revlon like that. I don't have any Revlon products besides like the powder and maybe like an eyeliner here or there. Um, but as far as foundations goes, I don't think I have any Revlon foundations. It's just not my cup of tea. The foundation feels, you can feel it. You can feel the foundation. It does set to a beautiful natural finish, which I love. I love the shade. I'm in the shade 320. So if you're more olive tones with yellow, this actually was really, really good. Um, it was it was more like a neutral warm. It was kind of weird, um, but it, it it's not a bad, it's called Tawny. This one's in the shade Tawny. Um, I do wish that for the price especially, or just the fact that every foundation out here is a freaking ounce, that they would have included it and made it a full ounce. That's one thing I don't like. I love the packaging, I love the shade, I love the coverage. I actually don't mind the feel of it, but I'm just letting you guys know that I could definitely feel the foundation. Like as I've been wearing it, I definitely cannot. It's all been about two hours now, and I definitely cannot feel it per se. But at the end of the day, like, is this something that I would be like, yes, go get it? Not necessarily. I do think that if you want it, if you love your Revlon foundations and you have a shade in this little small ass release that they did, um, go for it, try it out. It's only $10.99 at CVS and I'm sure you can find it cheaper online. And I'll see if I can find it actually linked down, I'll link it down below if I can find it on Amazon. Amazon always has things like inexpensive um, or if I can find it in another store cheaper, I will leave it linked down below. Um, but I picked this up at CVS for $10.99. As far as the concealer goes, the doe foot applicator is a turn off. It just looks wonky, it looks weird. I don't know, uh, I don't, it has a scoop. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? What am I scooping? It is supposed to hit the under eye area really nicely because it does not do that. Um, the shade 15, I think there was 15, 20, and 25. I wanna say those were the shade ranges. Again, if I can get a picture of it or um, get something, I will of course have it in the corner here. Uh, it only had three shades on the display, which was such a turn off. It, it automatically is a turn off. This one's in the shade light and, and she is yellow. She is light yellow AF. And honestly, if I was to have a darker concealer, I would want to mix something like that in with this, but not for $10. For $10, I'll just go back to get my my L'Oreal uh, Pro Glow concealer, which has the same shitty fucking chain ranges and probably like three more shades added to that and spend the same amount. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like, it's mostly the color that I hate the most. I should have known, because even looking at the packaging, it looks jello, and this looks like my shade. So I love the packaging. I love that that's 
that's what you see but if I thought that this was a shade that was gonna work for me because out of all the other two shades they looked really peachy and a little bit darker but like it would just look like weird shades if I thought this was it then that says a lot because but anyway um I didn't mind the way it blended it blended out beautifully it was not buildable it did nothing to me when I build it up um, and it still accentuated my under eyes right here in person I they look blue I don't know how my camera is translating it but this is gonna go back to the store because I cannot but as far as the foundation goes I actually think I'm gonna keep it I like the way it feels I like even though I can feel it it does it I don't know I just like the finish of it I like the shade I like the pump I just I do like it um it's just not something that I'm like get it it's a holy grail but it's actually got some really nice pigmentation in it where a pump to a pump and a half should suffice these are my thoughts on the foundation and the concealer and of course this is the new Revlon photo ready candid uh, natural finish anti-pollution foundation and the concealer which is the antioxidant concealer which would be great if it depuffed my eyes but I feel like they look a little bit worse and really yellow really yellow um so anyway guys that's pretty much it let me know down below if this is a product that you've tried or if you've seen the display or if there's any other products that you guys may want me to try out and test out for you guys um i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in my next video check out all the other mess that i have on my channel Give your girl some love because you know she loves y'all. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.